I know some other carpenters that hate strapping on their nail bags. I mean, they just loathe it. But for me, man, it is one fine day when I can just tune out everything else going on in life and the world and put on my nail bags and get something done. Just actually build something. Just do it. In the spirit of Tim O'Brien and his book, The Things They Carried, and because I'm getting a brand new set of bags, uh, let's talk about my bag setup, how it is now, and, and why it's that way. So, um, about 10 years ago, I had a really nice set of Occidental belts, Occidental leathers, that I really, really liked. And um, I'd had them for maybe 15 years. They were super broken and made me look like I actually knew what I was doing. <laughs> Um, and I had a, I had a robbery actually, and a bunch of hand tools went missing. And so this is what I ended up with, um, a set of craftsman, uh, belts. Now they weren't too expensive. Um, and I've had them again for about 10 years, but now I don't wear these every day. Um, I wear these sparingly. And so what you can see here is basically the build of two garages, a bunch of fences, some decks, a house remodel, that sort of thing. And then, you know, just wearing them here and there. With. And, and here's how here's how I wear it um, again this is I'm right-handed this is my right-handed bag um, typically this is everything I carry in it um, I keep my tape here um, I used to keep my tape up on on the belt but yeah I, I don't anymore um, and you'll notice I cut the loops off here and that's because I hate I'm, I'm short I'm five foot eight I'm fun sized one might say and I hate to have a uh, a hammer just you know in this loop like kicking me in the knee so um, I had a, a rear hammer and um, I've, I've had a rear hammer since I was probably 16 but this is again everything that's normally in my bags now there's some stuff that eases in and out of the bags like this frame and hammer and I know it's not the sweet Martinez um, with the titanium head this is a 25 26 year old hammer with a uh, with a face that I've had to regroove a couple of times. Yep, it's mine. I like it. It works. It's great. So I was going to go on a little mini diatribe about my tools and the history and blah, 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 blah. You don't care. Let, let's get to getting. First time wearing the new tool belt. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, that milkshake right there brings all the boys to the yard. And here it is. My new tool belt. Um, yeah, I am... I am extremely happy. I did realize after the fact, after I did the initial order, that I did need another hammer loop. I thought um, my old setup, I had one in back. One, one reason why I really like that is um, that when I have uh, the sweet drill hook deployed, then it doesn't get in the way. I can just hook my drill and the hammer um, isn't in the way so I can just move whichever hammer I feel like using. Normally this bad boy is in my bags um, if it's something super serious which it normally isn't these days but if it is then I have this uh, this old school East Wing framer in so <laughs> anyway yeah I, I couldn't be happier um, I've worn it uh, I've worn it a few times and uh, have have worked some projects with it. It is very very comfortable um, on the hips. Uh, all of the all of the pouches are great. Everything, all my tools are within reach. It was really easy to get used to and set up. And I love the quick on and off buckle. I love having framing nails here and then all of all of my bits and bobs kind of everywhere. Um, I will say the cell phone pocket it's a little bulky you know it sticks out a little far hopefully it'll flatten out with some time and i wish there was a little cutout to be able to like take my finger and just bump it up um you know push the phone up instead of having to dig in hopefully this is the last set of nail bags that that i ever own um not not because i'm gonna die soon but but hopefully these uh <laughs> these last me a while so very very happy with this purchase and look forward to wearing and using and abusing these for years to come. So let's see what kind of goodies my son is getting for his new to him tool belt. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, all right. So I got him um, the Lutz utility knife because uh, it's my favorite. It just is. It's just super easy to use. It's great. Um, the Stanley Fat Max 25. Now, could have gone 35, but the Fat Max 25 is it's quality, quality tape measure. Um, I did go with the East Wing Framer. Um, this one is the 26. No, 15. Sorry. So this one is the 15 ounce framer, and um, now if he if he chooses to go into the trades and buy his own Martinez hammer, um, awesome. But this should do for any framing that he does uh, in his 20s, hopefully. <laughs> um, a Japanese nail set because they're absolutely positively the best. The uh, the single like tack nail sets, man. I don't. I mean, I still have mine, but I don't use them. Uh, this is my primary tool, and so I thought it'd be nice to uh, to hook him up with that. Um, a flat bar. Now, this one I didn't buy new. This is uh, this is one of mine. But for like moving trim and and wiggling things up, this thing's awesome. Uh, of course, a new chalk box and some blue chalk because I like blue. Um, a nail puller uh when i was coming up we called this one a uh, rat's tooth and the large ones we called cat's paws uh i really like this it fits really well in the in the tool bag so this is what he's getting um now again i could have uh gone and gotten a martinez square and if he is if he is a tradesman if he uh, swings a hammer for a living or lays out walls then I super suggest that he uh, he may pick up a Martinez, but this this uh, this square and this book will serve him extra well. And um, I mean Swanson was the original; it's what I throw, and so I got him one. Um, and then I got him a set of nail puller pliers and <clears throat> some extra blades for for his utility knife, and then a combination of pencils. Um, Sometimes what what separates a frame carpenter and a trim carpenter is the size of his pencil, but you do need both. So uh, I'm throwing those in, and uh, he can sharpen them with his, his new knife. <laughs> All right, tool belt ready to go for my son. Um, I've set it up with, uh, with the bag swap because he's a lefty. Um, as you can see, all the tools described. I did throw on a carabiner, not for safety, but for keys and just miscellaneous crap. This carabiner actually has followed me um, rock climbing and mountain climbing throughout the world. I literally, I think this thing has been to Switzerland, Andorra, France, China, um, and all over the U.S. Anyway, um, we've got his framer over here, and then this is the 21st century. Everybody needs their cell phone. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not judging. I have a cell phone pouch on, on my rig, so I put one on his. Um, I did, uh, I did uh, change it a little from the way that I had this set up and that I used to keep my tape measure here. Um, I do have an old tape measure pouch from something else, from uh, an electrician's bag set, that I put on for him as well um, for his new tape measure. So hopefully he gets years of use out of this and uh, makes, uh, makes a little money or at least saves a little money.